A couple days ago, I posted a video about a few things to consider when actually selecting a location, whether the physical space meets your requirement, where the available light's coming from, and just like general stuff like that. Then in the comment section of that particular video, thank you everyone who comments, a particular lad that goes by the name of Luke Shaw of Videography commented and was like, hey, like how do you go about actually finding the locations in the first place? And I was like, wow, that probably would have been a way better video to start off with. So yeah, let's actually talk about where I actually go to find locations for my projects. Finding locations in the first place is either the most challenging task or it goes super smoothly. And I would say like 50% of the times it does not go smoothly and I have a super hard time trying to find locations. Actually just had a shoot recently where we had to actually change the concept of the video because we couldn't find a proper location that would have done the video idea justice. Finding an actual location that's right for your video isn't the easiest thing in the world. So the first thing that I do and probably most of the times when I'm finding a location, it's just legwork. It's legwork that I have already done or it's legwork that I'm about to do. I know there's so many times where, you know, you've probably been walking around in your daily routine where you saw a spot and you're like, wow, it'd be really cool to shoot something there. Take note of all those times where you saw something that you're like, wow, like let's shoot there. Cause I guarantee that there will be a time where it will come up where you'll be like, Let's use that spot that I found that one time. Remember that space, take photos on your phone or whatever it may be and get the contact information of the person that owns that space. So when the time comes that you might wanna use that space, you have a contact, you have photos of the space. Keep like a database of all the cool locations that you find around your city or whatever it may be. But then there's other times where you need to actually go out and do the legwork afterwards. For example, I was looking for like an old broken down warehouse for a shoot not too long ago. And I actually got my car drove places where I would think there would be not so nice looking warehouses just around in the city of Philadelphia. Nine times out of 10, you might even stumble across an other spot that looks cool for another shoot doing stuff like that. So just walk around, take photos in your everyday life and do your legwork. Another great tool for finding locations is Instagram. And you wanna know where all the cool locations to shoot are, just go to that city's hashtags, whatever it may be, it's like Philly, Igers or like, I don't know, find where all the photographers and all the video people are shooting in that city. Hopefully they have a location tagged and if they don't have a location tagged, DM that person and be like, hey, like, where'd you shoot this? So that's always been like a great tool for me. Going along with, you know, the social media aspect of things, another great way to find locations is just put it out there on social media. Write a Instagram story or a post being like, hey, does anyone know a location that looks similar to something like this? And you know, post a picture of it or be like, does anyone know oh, like an empty giant warehouse in the city of Philadelphia? Tap into your social media networks. Uh, I'm sure you follow and are followed by a ton of creators just like you, whether it's in your city or not, who probably have an idea of some locations or have shot in locations that you wanna shoot at. Another great way to find locations are websites like Airbnb and websites like Peerspace. Peerspace is great. It's Peer space is great because you actually like check off like I'm using this for film production. Whereas Airbnb where people might not be opening up their spaces for you to film at. But it doesn't hurt to if you find a really cool location, whether it's a house or whatever it may be on an Airbnb, to contact that host and be like, hey, would it be cool if we had like a small video production happen in this space? It's definitely a great tool for, you know, finding good locations, Airbnb. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what city you live in, but in Philadelphia, the city that I live in, there's uh, the Greater Philadelphia Area Film Office and they provide their website. They have an actual section just completely devoted to finding locations in the area of Philadelphia and separated by all types of genres where it's warehouses, recreational facilities, houses, uh, just like all types of things along those lines. And that's always a great resource. You find a location that you want, uh, you submit the information about your project and you're able to ask for contact information for specific locations. And sometimes, not all the time, uh, the film office does a good job of getting that contact information over to you so that you can contact that location directly. In Philadelphia, it's film.org. In other cities, I'm not sure what it is, but look it up. Look up whether or not there's a film organization in your city and maybe they offer a service like finding a location. Another great thing that I do is I just watch other filmmakers videos and 
if I saw the location in someone's video where I'm like, wow, that's really cool, and they live in the area that I'm filming at, I'll reach out to them and be like, hey, like, where'd you film this specific video? I really love the location. I'm wondering if you could help me out and uh, get me in touch with the person that you were in contact with or whatever. And most likely that filmmaker is gonna be like, yeah, for sure, like, this is where we shot it and they're gonna tell you about the contact, they're gonna tell you about their experience, it's filming at that specific location, how much it costs to film at that location. Yeah, it's just reaching out to other filmmakers, again, reaching out to your network. Nine times out of 10, there's gonna be someone who filmed that location that you're looking for. So yeah, those are kind of just like the ways I find locations for shoot. Again, like the main way I find locations is just for doing previous legwork and, and having had seen locations that I've been to in the past and just remembering that there are cool locations. Yeah, if anyone else has any other ways that they find locations, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we can start a conversation. Hopefully you can help me find locations too. So this is a two-way street. And as always, thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, see you next time, bye.